back to my channel. If this is your first time here, welcome. I do bag reviews from contemporary to designer brands, bags that are in trend, just bags in general. I love, love, love um, kind of coming on here and just sharing some of the things that I really like and enjoy. And today I'm really excited to share my latest purchase. Um, and I kind of go through the backstory on that. And yeah, let's just get oh, right in. Some of you follow me on Instagram, you will see that I did post this um, new purchase that I had gotten probably, I would say a couple weeks ago. And as you can see, this is my new Chanel purchase. Um, I've been wanting this bag for a while. Um, and before I kind of share with you guys what I had um, picked up, I, you know, like when I, when I do decide on getting something, I usually try not to get things on a whim. Uh, I mean, occasionally sometimes that does happen, but for the most part, I will watch a lot of reviews on it. I'll try to think about, is this something that will fit into my lifestyle? Is it something um, that could go the distance? Then decide if that's something I wanna add um, to my collection. Now for this one particularly, um, I wasn't planning on getting this one now. I was gonna wait a little bit longer just because we've been staying home. There's really nowhere to go for me to wear this. And to be honest, this initial bag, I didn't love. I felt like it was um, something that was too trendy, but I'm sure if you guys follow um, this community and on YouTube, you'll know that the, the more you see it, it just grows on you and then you just come to love it. What I got, and this is an unboxing because I haven't actually opened this since I purchased it from the store. And even in the store, I didn't open it. And before I kind of get it, so when I purchased the bag, it came just like this. They actually ran out of boxes, plus the, you know, the ribbon and all the flower and everything that comes perfectly packaged when you do buy a Chanel bag. Um, but unfortunately for me, it just came with the bag and this. And it's okay because I'm so very thankful that I was able to get this. So when I found out about the price increase, I heard, I basically reached out um, and ran over <laughs> to the closest boutique near me because I wanted to make sure that I was able to get um, this particular bag. No, um, they increase most of their classic bags. So from the classic flaps to the classic, you know, all sizes, including the minis, I think some of the wallet on chains, the 19, and then I believe, um, maybe that's it. I know there's a, a couple more, I think, of other bags, but um, in particularly, I've been eyeing this particular bag. Let me just show you. Okay, as you can see, I'm not. So this is the new bag and it came just like this. I've been eyeing this one and you guys can see obviously from the hardware that this is the Chanel 19 in the small size. Um, so I was debating between this or like a mini rectangle or mini square classic flat, but those the waiting list on that was, you know, extremely long. And by the time I was able to get one, it would be the new price. And I think that was what I was trying to avoid because I mean, you can get bags anytime for the right price or for the increased price, but for, you know, um, the 2020 prices, I wanted to get something like this because I think for me, like once it hits past a certain point, it's just, I kind of, I kind of forget about it. Um, but I definitely did want this one. So this, like I said, is the Chanel 19. I'm going to just remove the package before I take everything else off. It comes beautiful like this. So you can see that it's nicely wrapped. Um, and so when I went there, they basically said there are no Chanel 19s in the small size anywhere. Even I think they said nationwide, just the small size in general. And the new, it, we can put you on the list, but the new ones that come in will be for the new price increase. Um, it will be with the new increased price point. It will not be for this price point. Um, so at that point, I'm like, well, I'll still put my name down, but I, it, I'm, just, I'm not in a rush to get it. I can get it anytime. I don't have to worry about it. Um, but then she's like, well, let me just do one quick look. And then I guess apparently when she went back there, I don't know if a new shipment came or whatnot, but it was this um, only one that was in there basically. So whether I wanted it or not, there's only one. Um, and she was like, I'm able to get it, give it to you for the lower price. So thank goodness. And obviously I didn't really flinch. I just said, yeah, let's package it. I'll take it. Um, 
because if not now, it's never. So this is it. Here it is, you guys, the Chanel 19 in the small. Package super nice. Um, obviously there was the layer of felt that was on top and then this to hold it. Always keep your packaging because you wanna make sure that you know everything when you put it away and you store it, that you keep it in the best pristine um, condition possible. So you wanna make sure you keep everything. That's what I, I didn't always do that, but I definitely have been um, doing that recently. And let me just take a quick look at this. I don't know if it's supposed to be like this. Okay, so online until you see it in person because online it is like a very, um, you know, smalls and medium. So this is a small, but I think depending on, I don't know, like I know Chanel sometimes calls this the medium, um, but some people refer it to the small. So I guess it's the smallest size minus the wallet on chain. And then you have your next size, which I refer to as the large. And then you have your maxi. Um, so originally when they told me that the smalls were all sold out, I was considering getting a next size up, which is, I guess, the larger to medium. Um, but not insert some photos up here, but you can see like when I wear it, it really just reminds me of a huge like messenger diaper bag. And I just didn't like the way that felt. Um, I didn't think it was like a good everyday bag versus this one here it still fits so much. And I think this is the perfect size, um, for me. So again, you guys, I'm sure seen this bag a gazillion times, but um, so this part right here, the turn lock, it's done in this like really beautiful um, weave with the gold brass mixed in with the leather intertwined together, which makes it look really different, a little edgy. Um, okay, so I won't lie. Initially, when I first saw that, I didn't love this part of it because I'm a big fan of just like the classic CC. Um, just in like pure gold. I just think it looks really nice from afar. I felt like this was a little too much, especially with the gold chain and the handles and everything like that. Um, however, I come to realize that, you know what? It does give it a little bit of character and then it grew on me. So now I think it's it looks fine. Um, but you'll see there's a top handle like this, which is great. I love a good top handle bag because you, you guys know that when you're in your car, you don't want to like fuss with grabbing like everything. You just want to kind of grab the top handle and be able to go. And this is one of those. So you have this and it's definitely substantial. There's a lot of weight to it. The bag itself is very light, but this has a lot of, um, has the most weight, um, which is, you know, it's good and it's bad. Some people like it, some people don't. I know there's a lot of criticism out there because of, because the way of this is and it's a little bit heavy and the fact that they people say like when you put it on here so it's a nice leather that actually hits your shoulder but some people say that it's a, a little bit um inconvenient because it moves around the, the the straps actually kind of turn itself so it's just a little inconvenient for them um, I'll do another follow-up. I haven't obviously used the bag, so I can't really say to that, but I definitely want to do a couple of reviews after I use the bag and figure out like, is that something that really is an issue? So let me just do a quick check. Cause like I said, I never actually opened the bag. Look at the chain. So you can obviously there's like, uh, there's a lot of mixed metals here. You either love it or you hate it. Um, again, I didn't love it initially, but I do think that it gives you, it gives the back character. So I don't mind it anymore. Um, you can see that this is not your like typical gold. It's like a, like a, it feels like a vintage, um, kind of like, I don't want to say the word used, but it has that like vintage feel to it. So you can see there's that, um, effect to it. And I did notice, and can you guys comment below and tell me if your bag has this like edge? Is it supposed to stick out like that? Or is it just, yeah, let me know if it's supposed to, because that kind of bothers me, but I guess it's not that big of a deal. Um, I also, one of the reasons I wanted this particular one, the back pocket, it's a magnetic button here, and it's a really good size. If you're compact, anything that's a grab and go, um, that you don't want to necessarily put inside the bag. It is super, super convenient. Um, and then let's open this stuffing inside. 
And then the inside is just like really nice. It's not, I don't want to say it's red. It's like a, maybe it's like a burgundy, um, which is, you know, totally like a, which is a really nice, pretty um, deep color, which just, it gives the bag again, more character. And the quilting on this is big quilts versus like the standard smaller size quilts that on their classics. And this one is the lamb skin. And I was able to see the goat skin in person, but I saw it on the bigger size. And it honestly feels very similar, but I think the goat, as a lot of people on YouTube has been saying, it's a little bit more durable because it does have that like extra coating. But I guess there's pros and cons to both. With the goat skin, you can see a lot of um, wrinkling more, but it is more durable. And I think with the lamb skin, it doesn't have that. They're like, I mean, honestly, it feels like you just want to like roll and sleep on it because it's so soft and so nice. And but doesn't feel as delicate as the lamb skin on their classics or maybe even like the trendy. Um, I know the Trendy CC, the lambskin on that is very delicate. So like if you scratch it with your nails or something, I could see it leaving a mark. Whereas this one, I know, I mean, I'm sure it will happen too as you use it, but it doesn't seem as apparent. So all in all, I really, um, you know, like I was, if you gave me the choice, I probably would have picked goat skin, but you know, I did not have a choice and I'm just lucky that I was able to get one for the price um, of 2020. So you know what? I'm happy with it. I really like it. I probably won't be using this anytime soon, to be honest, just because again, I'm not, I don't have anywhere to go. Um, but when I do, I'm actually really, so my first organizer I purchased from Simone and I've never purchased from them before. Um, and if you guys watch my other videos, you know that a lot of the organizers I do purchase are made out of nylon. They're a little bit more um, squishy and I, I like that because most of my bags um, don't have as much structure and I just like the casual look to it. But I think for this bag, the whole point is to keep a structure because the bag is so soft and plushy. Um, and I think for long term, you want to have something like that. So I'm really impressed. This actually came probably two weeks, I would say. Um, so it wasn't too bad. I mean, it wasn't a rush to get it because like I said, I haven't even opened my bag, but it looks like this. Um, it has, you know, it's made perfectly for the Chanel 19. So I'll test it out and see if it actually fits. But inside there's four pockets. There's one, two, and then three, four. So if you want to put like your lipstick or not, and it comes with this little cute um, piece that you can probably put into another bag or so. And this will hold like, keys, lipstick, anything. It just helps kind of organize the bag. But for me, it's not even so much about that. It was more just about keeping the shape, making sure that maintaining it comes with cute little um, letter inside. Again, never open. Look how cute this is. I um, really appreciate like the quickness and the packaging it came in. I just felt like it's all in all like a really um, nice experience. And I would definitely order from them again. But yeah, so this is this, and this color is a burgundy too, so it should match perfectly with the 19. This is like, fits just like a glove. Look at that. It's perfect. And it hits where the zipper is, so you can actually get into the zipper sill and utilize that back pocket. Actually, let me move this tag out of the way. You see that? Oh my gosh. Definitely will be ordering from Zimoni again. They are, this, I'm impressed. I thought I would have to. I saw a couple of other reviews where people had to like really stuff it in there. And I felt like, you know, it's just too, a little too harsh on the bag, but this is great. And it's still, you know, let's see, I'm going to put it on just take a quick look. But yeah, look at that. I mean, it keeps the structure and I think it'll be perfect. And very usable. I mean, the point of getting a bag like this is the fact that, you know, I, I'm a very casual person. I want to have a bag that kind of dresses the outfit up, but still is okay. Um, a lot of times if you wear the classic flaps with like a, let's say a workout outfit, it just will look a little out of place. Whereas I think you can get away with this. So I'm really, really happy with the purchase. I'm excited about it. Um, but yeah, I just wanted to kind of jump on here and just share with you my newest addition. Let me know what you guys, if you guys have been using this bag for a while, you have it. Can you guys let me know the wear and tear on it? Let me also know about this thing. Is that supposed to be out there? And 
on the gold hardware do you see how there's um there is that like age look is it supposed to be like this um i actually haven't examined too many of the 19s in person um so yeah i would just love to know but thank you so much for watching. Um, stay tuned because I'm once I start using this bag, I want to do about what fits inside. I want to do a review on the wear and tear. If you guys are interested, let me know. Um, other than that, I'll see you in my next one. Bye.